This is another epoxy video. I'm still going to be making some jewelry and going to try some other colors. Go with a Caribbean blue, a mahogany, and copper. That should work. All right. The jewelry kit that's available at Total Boat comes with these little guys. I think there's one more. I currently have it sitting out doing something else. Um, so they're tiny little pendant uh, silicone molds. And I'm gonna use those today. I really should be using gloves. You should always use gloves when using epoxy. So I'm gonna be a good influence. One, two, and there we go. All right, so I have my gloves on. And we're gonna go ahead and just mix up some epoxy to begin with. Just, and I'm gonna mix up, I don't know, fairly small amount. So this is a two to one ratio and the pump heads take care of that for you. So I'm gonna mix up or get three of those. And three of those. And then I'm just going to stir until it goes clear. All right, so I'm gonna use three other cups, one for each of those colors, and I'm gonna pour a little bit of the epoxy into each one. Get those close just in case it drips. Great, and I didn't grab enough stirring sticks. There we go. So we'll start with the copper. So let's go ahead and go with the square one to begin with. So what I'm gonna do, I could grab a syringe and use syringes for these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour, I think it should be okay. All right. And I've poured in a little bit into that. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit. It probably wouldn't hit the side if I just went ahead and used a syringe. Add a little more clear. And the next color. some more clear and the next and just a little bit more clear you don't want to go all the way up to the top yet I'm gonna take a stick going along each side. Just 
just grabbed another stick. Go ahead and get the rest of that epoxy back in there. And then I'm going to finish filling, filling this up with clear. Set that off to the side for now. Go to the next. And fill this one up about halfway with the clear. Ooh, that was a little further than halfway. That's quite a bit further. So we'll just go with two colors. I'm letting these drip down the sides, all three sides. just a little bit of clear. Actually we'll go with the blue for this second color. And again just letting a little bit drip down. And we have that. I'm going to fill that up. And we'll set that one off to the side. Go ahead and grab the next one, which is this clear guy over here. Fill him up. a little bit less than halfway. I think you can, yeah, you, should, you can see that in the video. Add a little bit of the first color. And just a little bit of clear to separate them. drops again the next color again just a little bit of clear and a couple of drops of the blue I'm going to fill it up close to the top. And I'm going to go with one of these colors again. So in this case, I'm going with the copper. All right, so that one off to the side. Let's go with this rectangle guy here, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Go about three quarters of the way, I think. Again, using a syringe would make this much easier. I don't know why I'm torturing myself by not doing it. All right. I'm going to let Go down the back side. I'm going to that go down each of the 
left and right, and we'll call where the blue is going the front. All right, and then I'll fill this up. with a little bit of clear to top it off. All right, so that's those. So to give you an idea of what's going on here, as these sit, they actually drip down. And it's got a work time of about 40 minutes or so. So that will keep working its way down. And each of these should do this. That one's that one. And the other one's basically all the way down to the bottom, but that was pushed in. So, what you can do with these is there are these little little tiny eye hooks. And that doesn't want to there we go. So I've been playing around with how to make this work, and I have to take the gloves off for this. Pull these over here. And I, I've been using blue tape, which is the tape you would use for painting. Pushing the eye hook through, we're trying to, there we go, and position it in the direction you want it to be when it's finished, and put it in the center, and then just pull that down. Now, True blue tape isn't made for this, and it's not going to stick very well on the silicone, but it has been working while I've been experimenting with this. So, again. Yeah. These are going to have a fair amount of bubbles unless you heat these up, and it really should have been done before the eye hook was placed inside. But I'm going to do it after. Because, oh, that one's peeling up. That's not good. I hadn't ha had that happen. Of course, I also haven't tried it on a triangle. Let's see if that will stay. Just has to stay until it starts setting. As I was saying, um, there will be air bubbles in this uh, if you don't heat it up. So, I know like this one, fairly large air bubble here on the bottom. And it's way past the point where you could probably get that out. Try squeezing it. Looks like it's actually trying to work its way up. So I'll go ahead and heat all these up real quick and then we'll go on from there. As you heat these up, I'm sure you can see in the video, it does thin the resin so it begins to travel down faster than it would otherwise. It all works out, right? It's almost like a tie-dye effect again. So I'll let those sit and I was going to... So before I completely stop on this, I've got some more resin left. I'm going to set these off to the side. Now 
Let's see what else I can do. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go with this square one here. I'm going to fill this up with mostly or with clear. about three quarters full. I'm actually going to heat it to make sure all the air bubbles come out. And then I'm going to apply these colors. I don't have much of the blue left. Looks like I made up the least of this blue. Let's see what we have. All right, so we've got that in there. I'm just going to heat that up. Actually, I have a little bit of gray left, or white. Not sure which to go with. I think I'm going to try white. All right, so I'm going to consider that one done. And it looks like I still have enough for another one. So let's see. This one over here. And then we'll just add these. And then we'll heat that one up. That one's almost over the top, so this should be fun. All right, and I still have enough for one more. This one is a little bit over there. I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna have to drill that one out. And do we have enough for one more? I keep saying just one more and it just keeps going. All right, so let's try this teardrop. I really like the look of this one. Uh, if you know what dichroic glass is, that's what it looks like. Um, 
This one's very similar to that, and we'll see what these end up doing. If you're interested in heading over to Total Boat's website, uh, they were kind enough to offer a 20% discount, and that is on the screen. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to set up about 24 hours, and we'll take them out and take a look. So it's been over 12 hours. I checked these at about, I don't know, three or four hour mark, and they were probably safe to pull out at that point, but I went ahead and waited. So here's the results. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. And they just pop right out. There's a different look to the front and back. So you could decide which side looks best. This one I will have to drill out the hole so it didn't go all the way through. I overfilled. This is the one I said looked like dichroic glass. So here's a comparison. These are dichroic glass. These are made with metal foils and fused glass, basically. And the look is, I mean, really similar. So I might have to experiment further with that style. We also did this style and dropped it from the top. So I went ahead and pulled those out because those are a little more challenging to get out of the molds. So here we have the results of those. I think those have a lot of potential too. I would go and use more color at the top. So I would go and use more color at the top so that the threads aren't visible. But other than that, I think those actually turned out quite well. So what do you do if you want to finish one of these off uh, so that it's actually a pendant? Um, you can pick up little split ring assortments like this that you can have pretty much everything on hand. And you just pick the size that you need. So let's go one larger for that. This comes in very handy. It's a tool specifically for split rings to open them up, but you can use a fingernail if you don't have that option available. And you just wind that on and you can pick up a leather cord or whatever type of necklace you'd like to go with. Well, I thought it was through. Slip that through and you have a finished necklace. A two-sided necklace when it comes to this since they are distinctly different designs on each side. And then the same would be true of these. You just pick whichever one you like. And you have a finished piece. So we'll take one final look at, at these designs and see you next time.